So, so why did you switch it on? God, I look so far away. Look far away. <laughs> I look far away. What jail to room camera? Room. Why am I on the left? No. Because it's um it's a mirror image. It's a reverse cam rather. You can change the orientation. To what? So what you do is you go here, right? Then you do this. <sighs> That's better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then that's it. No. Yeah. Wanna spend it like that? She. Okay, it's better. It's 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 better. It's now the right orientation. Okay. Okay, I think it's fine. Hey, where now? Hey, where? Yeah, we will look. Obviously. Eh? Obviously. She babes. We're supposed to be professional here. Oh. We're supposed to be professional. Are you being professional? Sha, we know sha. We get all the treasure. Yeah, anyway. Are you being professional? I think we are. Hello, beautiful Hestel Mama Nandi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hestel Yaba Nandi. Yeah, IT boy. And we saw IT. Hestel Yago. I was going to say, I am. And the Nita new Kama foods every day. And which one is on our Afro? Your skin, Mama Nandi, is to die for. Thank you. Um, and the one accent is you British. Wait on an accent British Mulano Square and a Jaden. Scratch a Jaden and Where's Papa? Uh, where did he go? Where did go? Where's Papa? And so, what's the name of those braids? Hey, my braids are Sakari. Are they hot? Ma, ma, oli, oli. <laughs> right. No <Okay>. desire. <laughs> hey, Justin J. Vele, vele. What? what? Skipan. Mm. Mm. Um. I, I'm not sure. But I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Who's that? <laughs> I tell I refresh camera in and out. Um, we understand you're watching. And I love you, Mamindi Moreseo. Oh, see, are you pregnant? My uh uh, oh, glow. And it's kind of I didn't know. Uh, and you look like twins. Do we look like twins? Ah, hope you are compliment, Wena. Stop it. <laughs> we're actually in the office, and um, we Sandra Jam Adaku Ed. When's Ed, please? I don't know why. Let me why? put Ed on and see why you want to be Edit Sandra. Okay. Uh, twins. Here's Oland and the Titan. How are you guys? Uh. Queen Primrose Moyo wants to be in your video. You look amazing. Love is a beautiful thing. Asha, mm. <laughs> there's nothing to do with love. The love. Love in my dot skinny eclipse. Tisto va pana va dutu butsura na kuti ongoka nyanyo gara ba dzine neni oskubero. You look cute, guys. Great mind and the. Totora limelight yango. Okay. Hi. There you go. There's the limelight. So. You left it up there. Okay. Nelson Point, my Nandi. Thank you. We were missing this. 
Dizzy D. What? Hansi Ngin Grand. What is that? Grand. Banandi. Banandi. Hope you and the missus are doing great. Um, nice hairstyle, my Nandi. I see Banandi got jokes. Yeah, he's the resident joker. Um, right. Hansi Banandi Murise. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going my best rapper perfect glow lovely okay thank you so much for all the compliments and we're glad you are here for the first time ever guess pakati pedu apfuri ramumu kuita live in indian for the first time ever apfuri ramumu kuita live in indian who is that person yeah obviously it's me because you you do them like like going to the shops. Saka, Anzi, Anzi, when did you when I came to your office? Anzi, now what what I told you after lunch. So now some copy them office and that. Eh, that is it. What I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go live. It's it's got a shamari. It's from it's good to tell live. To tanga tambo na mata. Tambo pira ko Anzi. First and foremost, before we do a live, um, so yeah. Why are we here? Right. The reason why we're here is I feel like we, we haven't really connected to um, to people well in terms of work because a lot of people have, I it doesn't it doesn't taste like the name it's Frappuccino to get anyway basically in my emails akazara right so the issue is we need we need people to actually engage we are me and my nandi are personally going to me and Miss... olinda chapo nkomo mrs olinda in fact mrs <laughs> Jabulo, my woman. I'm gonna handle what? some of, some of the queries that come in. Miss Wuna, Mrs. Jabulo, my woman, Como. Hey, from Olinda Chapel to what now? Mrs. Jabulo, my woman, Como. That <laughs> mouthful. Because send him there. That's how it's. <laughs> that's how it's it. Nah, fam. All in the chapel. Listen to that. We're no chairs, basa. No, but we're being professional. If we're gonna be professional, we might as well practice here. Kuita kanda so bina boardroom. Never room. Mrs. Jabulo Maybong Nko. Me what? Yes. Mrs. All in the chapel. When they refer to you, they'll refer to you that way, guys. Inka nda gaisa ngko mo wan kuku petsira. At least. Uh huh. Komo anotanga. It's okay. Anotanga. That's fine. So back to recruitment. So okay. So we we employ people who who recruit, but we feel like we 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 let you down a bit because you're the people who know us, mm -hmm. and we want to take take the bull by the horns and try and handle these queries better. But I won't I won't I won't be like her emphasizing. Okay, of course you know zinzenyu no fan uh, Gati, right now, if you have family into nursing, even healthcare assistants, doctors, social workers, just either you send your send their name to our our name their name and number to our to our Instagram or Facebook. This is Facebook. This is Facebook, right? This is Facebook, yeah. Yeah, or Facebook. Then what we do is we'll personally actually hit them up and start the process with people because i think it's been going slow 
because there's been an influx of very, a lot of emails. So we've managed to catch up with a lot of emails, but now we really want people to do that. Tag, tag your family so that to because so you need to do it then we get them then there's work guys for nurses guys there's work you call us don't be afraid when you see rates we can negotiate for some you know depending on time there's there's london ones there's gloucester ones so let's do it <laughs> Anyhow, um, so this is normally how it works out when it comes to, to recruitment. We do recruit locally, first and foremost, before Tatra Botata, Tarisavari, um, abroad, and locally we are recruiting. If you are on a tier five visa, which is a student visa, and it's coming to an end or you have completed your studies and you now need to move from the tier five to an employment visa you can actually apply for a job with gain healthcare and we would be able to support you in your application to get a work permit for five years and it's um so there is that process for those varimu tier five going into a tier four visa tier four is it tier four tier four tier two I made my tears, right? So if you what coming from being a student and you've just finished Whatever your type of tears, uh, yeah. so <laughs> not tears, not it will end in tears, right? Yeah, it will end in tears in this case. Mm. So yeah, so from there and then we also have jobs for newly qualified nurses. And it's again, if you want to get a bit of experience on your CV, because I know some jobs are kind of difficult to get without experience, please come and join our team, get your foot through the door, work for the NHS, work my nursing homes, residential homes. Our rates are competitive and all of that. Um, and then also, uh, we, and also, what do we do? In regards to recruit me, recruiting from Zimbabwe, we are currently recruiting what we consider to be uh, domiciliary care workers, which is home care workers. Home care workers are um, those with the nurse aid training. But for you to qualify to be a home care worker, you need a driver's license, Vanwamari. Because the job entails you traveling from one house to the other, looking after patients in their own home. So you need to have a driver's license. But it's just to try and make your um the whole process a lot easier. So and then not my driver's license and whatnot, whatnot. Um, yes, biochemists too. And yeah, in the kudosha please help. Okay, so basically, intaga tesi kudumi nda nda vesi kudumi yangu wote. Ngao funum sevens. Tumezela in number zako, kumbi in number lo zako. Sibu tint. Faga fa ngao le ngao le sini ne si funum sevens. Faga kuna pa sali sali tinta si difone. Ngao ufunum sevens weno use. We say UK, get seven of forty. If you if you had a a, a student visa, so when you change a even work visa, we got to have seven zero eighteen. So can it now? Let drivers license. It's an added advantage. You can you can be in home care because now let drivers license. Can it even when applied when you say Zimbabwe. Now, so, 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 so apply it in general, okay. really international okay. drivers. License. No, no. Can yeah. I interject in regards to that? You don't need an international um, driver's license because Zimbabwe is a former colony of 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 the of the British Crown, right? It was it used to be colonized by the British. Their driving everything to do with Zimbabwe. The the blueprint is everything to do with the United Kingdom. So you only convert. So you only convert. So all you do is upon arrival into Zimbabwe, into the United Kingdom, you're allowed to drive on that driver's license for a good 12 months and it and within that period you are then expected to meet through the post office to the um driving license DVLA the driving and vehicle licensing authority yeah and then you need to send it to them once you send it to them you fill in a form to say i've got a driver's license already please convert it into a uk one that means you don't have to do driving lessons again that means you don't have to take another license again it's just paperwork to convert your driver's license from 
a Zimbabwean driver's license to a United Kingdom driver's license. Because you are a for, former colony, colonization, yeah, yeah. Don't get my benefits. Kwamuno wa no kunzi muri. Maga maga colonize kwa nana. What's his name? Ian Smith nana Cecil John Rhodes. Exactly. So that's it. Um, what else? Any other questions? Um, there's a question that normally comes in when people, because there's other people in different parts of the world, not just Zimbabwe. Yeah. Some are in Germany. Some are in China. Some are in Cyprus. They, they're also, some are even in so, South Africa. So that South African driver's license you can convert. If you are not sure, depending on which country that you're in, go to the UK driving um, driver driving vehicle license. In DVLA. The, DVLA. Just Google DVLA UK and look at the list of countries that you can convert your driver's license from and to without having to apply for a new license altogether. Yeah. yeah. So what I was saying, some people want to be recruited from other parts, which is not just Zim. Uh, yeah, I, she will answer you on that. <laughs> Explain okay. that. All right. And then we'll come, we'll talk about the issue to do with the English test. A lot of you guys have to write your English test. But if you've got a degree, if you already have a degree or you've got a master's degree, um, you can then submit your documentation and i'll put the links on my site submit the documentation for it to be verified your degree needs to be verified by a certain company to say this um degree was taught in english if your degree was taught in english you do not need to write the english test and it's a your degree is sufficient to prove that you're proficient in writing understanding and communicating in english so are we together um, like I said, please explain to them about recruitment from the other countries, which is not the same. Okay. Um, at the moment, Gain Healthcare is registered in three countries, the United Kingdom, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. That's where we are officially registered. But you can still apply from anywhere in, um, in the world. So even if you're coming from Germany and you want to relocate, even if you're coming from Kazakhstan and you're looking to relocate, you can still apply for a job with Gain Healthcare. As long as we've got an advert that's out there, you can go on to Indeed, search for us on Indeed, go onto our Facebook page and apply for positions there. Go onto our website and apply for a position there. Um, there's a lot of phone calls that happen, a lot of messages that happen and whatnot. We will try and publicize as much information as we can on the official gain healthcare page so like don't like and subscribe subscribe and, uh, subscribe so YouTube. Follow. <laughs> okay, like and follow follow, follow uh, our page yeah follow like. our page like and follow yeah yeah um another thing people always ask um what's that question uh i just slipped my mind what question yeah i was about to ask uh about yeah about is is red cross the only place they can go to do their 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 no. nurse aid training no please don't get you know side blinded by the beauty that's on the camera focus on the question at hand focus on what I'm we're sorry. talking about it's it's technically your fault <laughs> <laughs> okay so um okay even under the mask, you can see the glow. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was your... What was your <laughs> you see? <laughs> what was your question? I will say the same to you. <laughs> focus. It's me. <laughs> you can look at Boris Johnson. <laughs> if you want to focus. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it, it's literally... Can people Red Cross. only go to Red Cross the, the, or anywhere else the, for their qualifications? I, I think Red Cross is a personal choice for gain healthcare. It doesn't specifically have to be Red Cross. Zimbabwe must have got a lot of corruption. And the Munoskera Mchifoja Foja Masset, if yet Munoskera Mchifoja Foja Jagawanda, Unogona Unoskera Wenda Ku, Unonzequi, Ku Hospital Yaban Kuruvaco, Uno Stempero could wait six months attachment, Usna attachment Yawan Beta. And it's a Usna Boita, Usna attachment Yawaita. You know, you guys, you. Yeah. So. The most important thing, the reason why we choose Red Cross, Red Cross Inata training plus placement. You actually go into the community or into hospitals and you actually have attachment or placement or go hospital. 
So it's just a case of safeguarding us as a business to know that the people that we're actually recruiting are having their training. At the moment, we've been taking on 10 people through the Olinda Chapel Foundation, and we've been paying for their training called Red Cross and make sure they're being monitored by our team, and they're completing, and we get feedback because we work quite closely with... Um, with the, 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 the big bosses who Nigrini could gross. So we get all of that monitored to make sure that our staff are being trained to standard. And training will not stop there. Training will also provide what we call the mandatory training Yekunoku UK. Um and also the care certificate, which is a legal requirement that you need to have to work in um in health and social care. So all of those things, there's quite a bit that needs to be done and we're investing quite a bit as a company as well into um the training that we will provide our staff all right another thing is um people are asking about age, age restrictions what 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 age lim, uh, age uh, range Mi minimum age range mm. okay there is no maximum age range it just depends on if the person can phys is physically fit enough to do the job uh, if you look at our application, there's a health and there's a health questionnaire that's there, like an occupational therapy question mm -hmm. that is there that you need to fill in um, to see if you are physically fit to do the job. But minimum requirement for the job has to be 21 years old because our insurance policies will not cover anything that's below the age of 21. It has to be 21 and above. Okay. So another another thing besides age limit is people are also asking if um if they have to have the experience because some people finished the courses they finished and all that but they didn't get any placements are you supposed to have experience before you come here is it mandatory right okay um you don't need to have the experience that you're having is coming from the placement it's coming from the placement that you're doing. This is why we choose to go down the Red Cross um, route because it allows us to monitor your the quality assurance. There, there's a level of quality assurance that's there in regards to the training that you get and the placement and the um, attachment and you know the experience. So once you're on placement and you're on attachment through Red Cross, as far as we're concerned, that is experience. And when if we do offer you a job and you do come to the United Kingdom, there is we also provide you our own in-house training and we also provide you with shadowing. So we're not just going to throw you into the deep end and say, there you go, you are here, there's your job, go and do it. No, you still have to shadow under our very experienced care staff that know what they're doing because what happens in Zimbabwe is a little bit different to what happens in the United Kingdom. Things like moving and handling, things like deprivation of liberty. You know, there's just quite a lot. Medication and all of that. So things like that, we would then provide the extra training on top of the training that you require. Okay. So um, it's not limited to sex. Uh -huh. You can be male or female or... Uh -huh. uh, but women empowerment. Uh, <laughs> Anyone can actually Dr. do it. My... I know when you see her, you think it's just Zinjirakat. You can actually do am, it. Am I that much of a feminist? Yes. Ah, and you say that without no hesitation, no. Yes, you are. I'm not a feminist. I'm okay, a... I want to ask you a question. Name the last thing you did that was inclusive of everyone. The Olinda Chapel high tea dinner this year. Includes Anna Gribet. What's, what's the purpose of the of the Linda Chapel White? It is to empower women and young. There we go. Full stop. <laughs> you are saying. You are saying. Full good. stop. You are saying. Ayo, 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 ayo. That's the end. Ayo. It's not the end. We are not even going to continue Listen, from there. We are empowering ourselves as women so that you guys can enjoy the fruits of us being empowered. <laughs> so that you don't have to buy us Brazilians. You don't have to get our nails done. Right. Speaking, you don't have to... Speaking, speaking of empowering women. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'll ask questions that people want to know, probably. Okay. So let's say uh, people have... They, they, the person has got a job. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah. There's questions that are going to be like, what about accommodation? Because these people are relocating. Okay. Right. Where will they stay? That's question number one. Then I'll, I'll cue another question, okay. which is, 
Also, if I I have one question at a time. Right, right. Don't continue. confuse. Her. Continue. Uh, what's your first question? Uh, what's how well, how's the situation with accommodation for people who have mi uh, migrated? Okay, the first thing that we look for, um, the first thing that we'll ask is, do you have relatives? If you've got relatives that you're more than happy to go stay with, what great. But if you don't have any family or for personal reasons, you just don't want to move in with your family, Gain Healthcare has got quite a few properties available where we can accommodate stuff. But like everybody else, you will have to pay rent. You'll contribute your nigini, your towards the rental of that property. So if it's like a four bedroom property, okay, rent a hundred pounds divided by four bedrooms, you just pay for your bedroom and you share with other professionals. So there is that possibility. We would also make sure that we pick you up from the airport if you don't have family to do that for you. Maybe maybe not a party, could a bit Zimbabwe. But if you don't, we're more than happy to ensure that we pick you up from the airport. Uh excuse me. Uh, and once you're here, we, we help you with things like opening bank accounts, getting registered with a doctor, um, getting your national insurance so that we pay you on time, um, and, and a lot of other things that are beneficial that are there. Okay. So what I'm going to say before I ask the, the next question uh -huh. is we understand other people are more experienced in, uh, in, you know, this. They've done it before. They've been there. But what we will assure... Because obviously, we we might miss certain information. Mm -hmm. We might not deliver some information correctly. Yeah. Right. So it's 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 prudent to actually contact us because the information we'll share with you from the office is based on government guidelines. Okay. It's verified. It's double checked. There's a valid question, Iripoy. How long does it take to process the visa? So what normally happens is we need to apply for your certificate of sponsorship, which normally takes about 24 to 48 hours to get it back. Once that's in place for you to apply for your visa, depending on the embassy, it might take two to three weeks, sometimes four weeks, sometimes six weeks. But on average, what I have seen, it takes about three, three weeks to to do. There was another valid question that I want. Oh, yeah. The other thing that I wanted to say was... In case there are some nurses or doctors, Varuku Zimbabwe, right, that are not finding the nursing and the doctor's jobs whilst they're in Zimbabwe. Gain Healthcare is not the only company that's doing recruitment. There's a lot of other companies out there that are doing recruitment. And it's a What my advice to you would be is apply for a job as a carer because you still earn a whole lot more money than you would as a nurse or as a doctor in Zimbabwe, right, on a salary. Apply for a position as a care assistant. And it's got get yourself over into the United Kingdom. Once you're over into the United Kingdom, and it's got you can always apply for a job as a doctor or as a nurse whilst in the here. whilst you're here into the NHS, and then you can switch your visa from gain healthcare to the NHS or, or to any other. In the Jangu Kunoku the team us atina. So we'll give you free advice to say, listen, this is another route that you can take. Instead of kumirira that job as a doctor or kumirira that job as a nurse that you really want or as a, a physiotherapist or as something else, apply for jiripo panguva iyoyo because your skills are transferable, right? Another thing that people need to be aware of, we're very um, uh, keen, especially me, because... I, I'm I'm a I'm a DPO data protection <laughs> officer, uh, and it. I'm not sure what you're not feeling. Can I can I walk away from that? Where the ICO can I? Which organization? Speak ask. English. What's ICO? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Information Commissioner's <laughs> Office or anyone. Or any authority to do it GDPR, wait, any authority to do it GDPR will come here at Gale Elke and ask if we're following the rules. And the person who is in charge of uh, controlling the, the, the data protection here is a data protection officer, which is me. She got into the right. password the internet. She just repeated. Didn't know why password. She got into the internet. She got into the password. 
ndini ndini maki eku fridge pamjato hapo eku eku door bana ndi bana kuti vhara ne ne terminology bana banzi ndidi ne maki dpo ico chichi chikoti ndi one password ya wifi the actual qualification if okay. if you did it though i'm a secure infrastructure specialist meaning i do uh, hey, well what now cyber <laughs> security <laughs> Anyway, let me continue. All right. Right. As uh, I it's Im- it's important that the person applying if you're going to make a call mm-hmm. or send an email, that person who is applying has to send You can't do it on behalf of someone else because we can't share that person's information. Mm-hmm. You might inquire Yes. Yeah. We've been getting quite a lot of that where brothers and sisters and aunts and tetes have been calling. We can give you the basic information, but when we mm-hmm. when we are not really forthcoming, it's not because um we are being rude. We're not being rude, but you we cannot share information to do with somebody else's application. It's against um GDPR law with his general data protection what? <laughs> I don't know if it's Okay, okay. Regulation. <laughs> Regulation. Regulators. <laughs> Regulation. Okay. okay. Uh so yeah, so we're not really fobbing you off or we're not just being rude or, or whatever. The person that is applying for the job is the one that needs to get in touch with us. Iembune. Titaure nae, we go through all of that. Because for example, Iwewe Hanjadzo kwa phone laga na tumkadzo wako chitu mkadzo wangu arutu kabasa. Maybe mkadzo wako has doubt who's the arutu tambira mari. Iwo wako phone wako tifunzo tindu kwa apply on behalf of gamchira. So what's the pay rate? Ayo waka salary ya gamchira ya inene we gribit. E, so gamchira inga phone, tuze gamchira ya salary yake. Iwewe msoro bangu sa phone chifunza ma salary ya vamo ya So... That's that's basically it. Um, the 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 other question that I, I needed to ask, speaking, uh, speaking of what you've just said, eh, uh, are we If someone actually travels and comes to the UK, what the question that has come up is, can I bring bring my msoro pangu as well, because uh, you are separating from family, right? And kuchandoga, no <laughs> one. So and people don't want to sleep in dollar signs. Okay, so I, the question is are you, are, you, signs. Are, are you able to bring your husband your or your or your wife with you? Or your family or your child or whatever your situation. Uh-uh. Uh yeah, <laughs> you you can um if you are on a work permit your um your family also gets a visa to come with you. Um that's my understanding. Um so yeah. Anything else? The validity of the visa. How long it is? The visa can be three years, can be five years. It just depend on uh, the length of your employment contract with us. Okay. So, which comes down to how long is bonding with hey, gaming healthcare? Okay. Like, okay. That means as for as long as you are in the country and you are working for us, that's how long your visa is valid for. If for whatever reason, disciplinary issues or any concerns, we terminate your employment with Gain Healthcare, it means we have 10 days to notify the Home Office that you no longer work for us and your visa gets cancelled immediately. Okay. Okay. So, right. So, is there anything else? Anzi, what of HIV status? Uh, what of it? What about it? Yeah, that is a good question. What of it? Uh, the last time we checked, the United I, Kingdom does not discriminate on anyone. Um, I think no, no one is discriminated, really. Some countries do. Of what? Which country? Turkey. Afghanistan. Now, can't go take it, but we can't We're not deported people for for having HIV. Oh, I don't know. I didn't even yeah. know that. But in the United Kingdom, they mm-hmm. do not discriminate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, the Red Cross, Red Cross, you the Red Cross, you know, 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 the Red Cross,
sometimes we do employ CBT or DBT therapists, so you can apply for that position. We're talking about working for Gain Healthcare, but we also talk about being able to uh, recruit on behalf of other clients. Gain Healthcare can recruit as an, a recruitment agency uh, on behalf of other clients, but your visa, it will not be a Gain Healthcare visa. Your visa will be based on those um, employers. So let's say we recruit on behalf of the NHS and you get an employment contract in the NHS, your visa will be the NHS visa. It will not be a gain healthcare visa. You will not work with us and you will definitely not even see us. We won't have anything to do with it at all. Um, all right. What else did I want to ask? Um, I've got a lot of questions, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. There's new newly qualified nurses that um, they the question is what do we have a a preceptorship program for nurses that have literally just finished? Somebody say good island inoku deporter from Kanawine HIV. Even you, That's what you, I heard you, from you, my you, friend. Ah, uh, as far as I am concerned, that is a breach of somebody's human rights. Um, and the UAE, you know, you know that of it. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. no. Okay, so the United Kingdom, no. So they're asking if there's a uh, a preceptorship program for nurses that have uh, literally just finished. May probably even or kuno tapeza au chifano utanga basa. And those that but are putanga that right now we are really literally desperate. For nurses that are newly qualified, we're desperate for nurses in the United Kingdom. We have got so many shifts. It's unbelievable. My limited companies, my PAYE, my umbrella companies, we are so, so desperate for it. So you guys get in touch with us. Get in touch with our recruitment team. Um, give us a ring and, you know, fill in your application. Refer somebody. Guys, um, you know, also holidays, gonna... money, extra money. Even if you are in full employment mm -hmm. and you just need that one extra shift a week, you know, register with us. Especially the summer, you know. So okay. let's do that. Do okay. I have um, uh, other questions? Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I know the only question that people will be asking is about money. Do I use my money or you're using yours? You're using yours. <laughs> you, yeah. We we only pay for certain things, certain things. It's it's up to you to to you need to pay for it. Um okay. So so that's that to do with gain healthcare. But whilst you guys are still here as an exit footnote, digital. Wait. Also Everything that you have seen on Gain Healthcare has been designed and by Skoko Empire. Marketing is all my services. No, but that's true. Um, a lot of people want websites. We've got competitive packages for websites. Wow. I know a number of, 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 of people in the same business as me. They have been complaining. They come to my DM and say, Ah, ah, what do you do? What do you do? Because my rates are good because I offer package rates. Not everyone has enough money to, you know, to to pay large amounts. Yeah. But if so, you pay your packages, some people have healthcare companies. You can come. As a lot of people know, oh. uh, maybe people don't know much about this, but we, I, I personally have been helping. Maybe you can tell them what I've been doing and how oh, you've been okay. helping to so, do that. So, uh, uh, um, Mrs. Njabulo has been offering Mrs. A, con Olinda Chapel. a consultancy uh service yeah uh, for health, for care companies yeah right and um i've been uh with with uh, the help of skoko empire we've been uh, branding these companies uh at, at good rates at competitive yeah. rates so yeah. if you're a company owner looking to start a brand yeah that's, that's a... So what we've been doing is we've been providing a consultancy services um, for Gain Healthcare, where we are actually helping other people set companies like Gain Healthcare, whether it is the home care sector, domiciliary care, or um, the recruitment agency, or um, the supported living agency. We run a consultancy services where we show you what we know. Um, 
the little knowledge that we have in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we've been helping people set up their companies. And because of that, we've been having like a one-stop deal whereby um, I do the consultancy side of things, the, the business setting up. And then Titan was doing the, the, the branding and the advertising. So all the branding, the websites, the brochures, everything that is needed within health and social care he's now a an expert at it you know um, can... so to make it easy for you yeah. uh we we create curate your information we have it we put it according because most people don't know what to have on their websites but they know the company they you know the, the work they want to do um yeah. also before we go someone back to the healthcare thing people are asking if if they come here uh is there any opportunity to to study or, or specialize uh was there on yeah you can do that if you pay for your studies i don't think you'll be eligible to get um funding for for your degree because you had to have you need to have stayed in the country for three years um for you to be able to do that so you can you can expand you know people development or personal development is very important in any job so we encourage people to to you know to have a professional development plan and take it from there uh somebody's saying i was in that group group no 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 you guys were in the subdivision group the main group which is called becoming a millionaire is still open and we're still providing each other support in that group there are some very amazing business people in that group that are doing so well for themselves but group raga zara um and yeah yeah so sure. last stop before we go it's the olenda chapel high tea yes my favorite event of the year <laughs> i look forward to more than i look forward to my birthday you know the reason because i get to meet some very amazing people this year uh 2021 uh, we the last one that we had was in 2019 I've been very absent without liver. 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 I've been very absent Overseas, neighbors. It's important. Don't it, make it me. It shows laugh. progress in your work. Hands, hands, branch manual. Um, we end up. Hands, na no no, baba na di unblock me, please. Hands, na chichi, iwe chichi. Titan, umusle stand wasami, stand wasami. Oh. Mi mi na mi na mi na vele vele understand. <laughs> <laughs> what, so do nice. what do you mean? What you mean? Titan, bonga. Um, bonga. Bonga. Titan, eh. um, stand eh. Ewe With, without makeup, without chin. Fele, fele, me understand the vele. Wena, suka. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, so. You know, we had the Haiti 2019, which was amazing. It was sold out. We had over 250 people. That was um, tickets. People were dressed amazing. We had tea guns, music. Anyhow, this year. <laughs> Fun fact, guys. Fun fact. Fun. Let me tell you. Fun fact. There's no tea without me. No. Fun fact. She doesn't even drink tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who drinks tea. It's me. There is no tea without Olinda. You know, I serve tea cups, Actually, there is. saucer, and... There's no tea in Olinda. <laughs> I know there's no tea. But anyhow, so this year, 2021, we are having it in Birmingham again mm. because it is right bank stuck in the middle of the country. So no one can complain. Our tickets are for 250 people. I have to say, VIP tickets are sold out. VIP, I, we, we released the tickets on Thursday and today's Tuesday. My VIP tickets are They are... They don't wait till August. So uh, all tickets are sold out. I'm, I'm telling you, like even when I work with clients who even in Skoko Empire, uh, the ones that, that don't negotiate or pay the full amount immediately in advance, they 
they know what they want they send you an email these are my colors this is my profile this is i don't have to ask too much and ga 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 fast fast so this is my many more so don't negotiate that and i end many more and i could you know well anyway um so the vip tickets are sold out and we have already sold over 70 standard tickets and we're only taking 250 people so i got half my tickets at way and we've had a lot of people reserve those tickets this year it's an evening dress affair evening gown my tuxedos my chimachi kunyato modela and whatnot whatnot you know um who do we have on our performance list so far uh we've got um sharon rose sharon rose ivy combo uh special guest what you could do but yeah we can't tell you we yet. can't tell you yet but dream pipeline is wrong wrong so at the moment we've got sharon rose who's already based in the united kingdom and we've got ivy combo we're looking ivy. more at artists that are based here in the united and, kingdom just and, just and, in case yeah, with the travel and, restrictions and people in not even travel restrictions people in the uk need to learn to actually listen to uh, i'm not asking you to support but actually Pay attention. Give one ear to artists that are here. Uh, they're really fantastic, and you just need to look at them mm. and 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 support. Rather, I didn't want to say support, but yeah, if you love their music, just follow it because it's always by merit, you know. I've already beside Pilo Mudagone. Tipeo email ye gain healthcare, please. It is recruitment or global at gainhealthcare.co.uk. So global at gainhealthcare.co.uk. That's if you're applying from overseas. But if you are local, just recruitment at gainhealthcare.co.uk. And that is it. Just go on our Facebook page. You will find us there. So that is it. Yeah. Hi to tickets. About, about this is... video, right? Uh, yeah, we've heard you. We're going to download this video. We're not going to have it on the on Facebook. We'll download it. Then you'll we'll, you'll see it on our YouTube page. Okay. And so, what else? So we'll send it out so you subscribe to it and that's where you'll get updates. If you really need to listen to the information again, yeah. You go back. Yeah. Okay. So, so if anybody wants to be edited, we'll just open up for a Q and A. Really? Just for a few minutes. Then we are we sign off. What time is it on your watch? I have work to do. And do it. I should not do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. What you doing? Um. Heroes raises enough you. Right. Um. Okay. So. Kafit kango kado to. Onda video ago. Okay. Who was asking to be edited? She wanted to be edited. She said she has been doing it. Information. I don't know if she's still on. Hopefully, she can actually help people with certain information um, that we might not know. Give us a heads up. Sharing is caring. And what I'm going to do is we have an inbox. What about Stefan and it is there, man? Okay, so that's not connecting. Let me try somebody else. Uh, they think you're hiding something. Who, me? Yeah. Where, do, where oh. do they think you're hiding from? Is there something I don't know? Am I hiding something? Are you? I don't know. You need to know you to find out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Hi, um, Mrs. Sunkoma and Mrs. Nkomo. I just wanted to find out whether um, a driver's license is essential or an advantage for HCAs. It's an advantage, especially because with, with the sponsor license, I, I want to make it clear so that people can understand because there's yeah. a lot of misinformation that's peddled out there, right? Mm -hmm. With the sponsor license, there's only two types of jobs that a lot of companies can give. And it's, mm -hmm. so for you to work as part of like for a company like Gain Healthcare or mostly Zimbabwean owned companies, excuse me, it's either as a healthcare assistant, support worker, or as a nurse. It's very unlikely 
for uh, Zimbabwean owned companies to have nursing jobs. Why would it be very un unlikely? It's because the, the terms and conditions of the home office license request requires that your sponsor license or the people that you employ are not agency staff. They're not coming to work as agency staff. They're coming okay. to work as your employee employees right. in the services that you provide. Meaning you have to, to get what, a contract. What, what we control. And the okay. likelihood is either home care, Kanakuti supported living, support workers, and those yeah. are the two main jobs. Unless kana urkita community care in a man nurses, kana kutu home care, palliative care, end of life care in a man nurses, right? Yeah. Contracts that you have control over, and it's a where you deliver directly, iwewe, and it's a so those are the jobs that you would need. Home care, Zimbabweans wakabata home care shikuti. Yeah. So that's why a driver's license is important because you know you can't do home care without a driver's license. Okay. Okay. What if you are willing to get one as soon as you get here? Are as you able with with your type of visa, like if you come as an HCA or a working visa, are you able to obtain one? Yeah, you can do that. Can. But but let me tell you this as a businesswoman that is trying to make money. I do not have the time and the resources to wait for somebody to get their driver's license. Was Munano for Nenda Kubas? Achiba Ku Airport, wait for induction, Yake, wait as in Uzaki, they say they need to be, they're here for work. They need to be going out to work. So, what if they might fail or they might pass or they, you know, it's not guaranteed. So, so in other words, it is essential. It's not just an advantage, it is essential. I, I, I can't say it's essential. Essential is too much of a strong word because there are some people that are willing to employ without the driver's license but for gain healthcare specifically for our business module and it's a it mm -hmm. is essential because we need car drivers the reason why we are struggling to recruit locally is because we do have people applying but most of them are non-car drivers so we need car drivers to be able to go out into the community and deliver the care that we need okay okay is, yeah is that right. yeah yeah that yeah. answers my question Thank you okay. very much. You are welcome. My battery might die. So, uh, guys, I'll just take one more question and then we're done for the day. Um, yeah, because we're good, we seem to be repeating a lot that we've already spoken about. So, if, you, if you're trying to ask a question yeah. that hasn't been asked already, I, I think some people have just arrived. And the a license for Zimbabwe, it's a whole lot it's cheaper, cheaper to, to, and it's to get easier. Your license in Zimbabwe. It is way easier to get a license it's in Zimbabwe. To get it here. You know. Right, okay. Uh well, she's back. Add mm -hmm. add her. Cindy. Why why? No, she she knows this information. Is this? Okay. It's it's nice to have people also who actually are aware. Okay. Uh, hi, hello. Linda. Hello. Can hi. you hear me? Show your face. <laughs> We're not speaking to a to a ghost. <laughs> no, no, you're not speaking to me to a ghost. You can check my profile for my children in the background, and I'm also in the background, so I'm not. I'm just a little bit. I, I've got a, a bad hair day today, so I can't show my face. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. What's yeah. your question, Cindy? Um. Yeah, I really like your shows and how you are supporting my Zimbabweans right across um everywhere with Tony Mabasa and all of that. And um, I think some information my Zimbabweans would also need to revert back to the website as well, um, the UK government website, to see what um, mm -hmm. changes have been made. Uh, for example, with the English test, um, for now, the last time I checked, there is this one in Narik, where people will be exempted from doing the, um, the English test, but that has been um, scrapped off now. For most professions like doctors, social workers, nurses, they would need to do um, the, IA, the IELTS, of which the band score would need to be seven. 
So um, that's a prerequisite. Yeah, it's, not the, it's not just the IELTS, it is the academic one. Because there yes, is, is. Yeah, some people are just going for the general one. It has to be the academic one where they have to have a minimum score of 6.5 um, for writing, if I'm not mistaken, or reading, and 7.0 7 for vice versa. Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, personally, I also went through the process of uh, relocation from Zimbabwe to the UK, and uh, the process uh, required us to do the IELTS. Um, before, they used to do NARIC, but they scrapped that off. And in terms of my my my, my job, in, my my employ, you know, my employers and uh, my basa, some some employment you have to to apply directly to my councils or directly to my home cares or sometimes you can do through an agent can uchi uchi apply for for basa and you don't need to pay for any for anything for you to get that support and um i've seen other people asking for accommodation it depends if your if your employer is a rated if they a rated which means they'll they'll foot all your costs in terms of uh, flight accommodation for the first month sometimes you get essentials for the house like um a cooker a fridge a tv you know just day-to-day -day things that you need uh, for everyday use but uh, with other employers who are not a rated you know pure basarago and then you come and work you work and then you you'll be um rebated maria in terms of my flights my visa fees and all of that Sorry, can I interject that the, the, the issue about A rating, right? It means that um, the difference between A rating and B rating, Gain Healthcare is A rated. A rated means that um, we, we are not monitored as such um, as activity. When I B rating, it's kind of like, when by the palm, let me put it like in, in, in a CQC kind of way where you need improvement. B rating, you need improvement in regards to your money. When you're B rated, you are very close to losing your sponsor license. And you have to do specific things to ensure that you are upgraded from B rating to A rating. Gain Healthcare is A rated from the home office because we have not breached any, any laws when it comes to immigration. We have always colored within the lines. Um, and we are not having to be monitored as much as those that are on a B rating, right? So even when we, you know, I, I've got other colleagues Vanessa, that have applied for these sponsor licenses. And it's got, when Gain Healthcare, when we applied for ours, we just submitted our application. We were never asked so many questions. We were never asked a single question, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, because our, our HMRC compliance was on point. Our paperwork is on point as a company excuse me as a company we are of good standing order so when they look at your paperwork they look at that company's history they look at everything to do with your company in a nutshell including things like um pay as you earn paye in employer in employer's contribution yeah national insurance net all of those things are taken into consideration so the problem with some of the our other let me just finish babe some of the other problems with some of the other companies that we have come across is that they are not compliant. They don't pay their taxes. They don't pay their, they don't um, pay HMRC. They don't pay PAY, even cash in hand. There is no history that you mm. are, are actually employing people. And it's like, Van Barushanda Sema Limited Companies, Van Barushanda as umbrella companies. And that th your employees' national insurance is not even registering with, the, um, with HMRC. But because Gain Healthcare is such an upstanding company in everything that we do, it's above board. We got an A rating without being asked of any question. And even the letter, it actually says, because of your history with us and and because of the history of your company, we are giving you an A rating. And um, normally that's awarded to upstanding companies. So, so basically what, what I wanted to say is um, it depends on the company's business model and where, where you want to put your risk as a company. Mm -hmm. some, some do pay all of it, but it means you're indebted to them <laughs> sometimes if you're there. Some, some don't. So it, I, I think you're lucky to be in that space. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just giving examples of other, yeah. um, 
agencies or other councils who employ people from Zimbabwe, that there are some who are A-rated. When you come here, you would have had everything paid for you and all of that. Uh, what you just need to do is to come and fill up your position and work and that's it. But with other companies, you need to fund yourself and then you get a rebate once you start working and all of that. And obviously, like my, my agents, they'll help you to set up a bank account to um, give you information on how to register with a GP, mm -hmm. uh, do my appointments, a good view at Zimba and all of that. And I've seen some questions regarding um, switching from um, a study visa to a work visa. That used to be the case like, um, you know, many, many years ago, but that's no longer the case. Now you can't just switch from tier four to tier two. So tier four is a study visa and tier two is the points based one, the, uh, the tier two one. You can't just do that now. When you finish your study visa, you need to go back home to your country of residence and gain your experience. And then you start uh, looking for jobs if they're on the short excuse that's, list that, of the UK what, government. That's, that's not what we've been advised by our immigration solicitors. That's the information I've got from the website. You can't just switch no. from tier four to our, tier two. Our, our immigration solicitors, solicitors that are on a retainer have said, no, that is incorrect. There are some people that as long as you do not have, as long as you are not an overstayer in this country, right? As long as you are not an overstayer in this country, you, are, you can switch from whatever pending case you have at the home office to an employment visa reason because it is easier to employ people in this country than it is COVID, a lot of people died especially frontline workers a lot of people died and so according to what our solicitors are telling us people can actually switch from one visa to the other as long as you you do not have as long as you've got a pending case with the home office that is what we have been told Unless oh. our immigration solicitor is advising us wrong, but these things we're going to cover them on the 26th of May. On the 26th of May, we're actually going to have a team of immigration solicitors that from different firms that are going to be discussing about this issue to do with sponsor licenses, about where you, what you can do and what you cannot do. Right. I am assuming that you are your knowledge is based on you as an immigrant coming from Zimbabwe, you have not sat on the other side of the table where you are actually the employer and you are the one with the direct contact with the home office and um, they explain to you the requirements and also what is... send a list of, of things you shouldn't do. Right. Yeah. Well, what is it called? Hold on. It's Let me... Oh, no, no, no. It's called... Sorry. Uh, yeah, just to jump in there, in addition to the personal experience that I have, I have I'm also knowledgeable in this... Um, UK and visa immigration and all of that. I think I've got, a, you know, a small fraction of some information that I've got um, to share with other people. You can't switch. Um, I no. believe people are watching I'm here. Watching, they can I'm go watching, onto the government I'm website watching, to, I've just picked to, up a documentation. Let me just my... finish explaining it, Olinda. Yeah, let you, me you, just you, finish. Got, no, hold on. I, I do not want to peddle wrong information here. There are two things that, are, that you can do with a certificate of sponsorship. There is what they call a defined certificate of sponsorship and an undefined certificate of sponsorship for immigrants already in the UK. So you can issue an undefined certificate of sponsorship to an overseas worker. That's an undefined certificate of sponsorship. A defined certificate of sponsorship is a bit more involving to prepare than an undefined certificate of sponsorship for migrants already in the United Kingdom. Okay, this is that, the information that... from our solicitors. So, and this information is from, it's, it's from a week ago. Yeah. This is from the same solicitors that applied for the visa. So I think at the moment, uh, no offense to you, Kola, but my money is on the guys that I actually pay 400 pounds an hour to give me this advice that are actually in the job. Your experience is based on you as an immigrant moving from wherever you're moving from and your experience. But according to immigration solicitors, this is what they have told us. That issuing, and I've spoken with four different solicitors that represent so many people that uh, are trying to switch their me, visas. Me, and it is very possible because there are some people that are actually going through the process as we speak. Let me clarify. Yeah. So what you're okay. mentioning we went through a process where they they had stopped it but because of the COVID situation they brought it back that's what they ended up doing 
Yeah, okay. That That's your view, but I beg to differ. But I would like, obviously, to advise everybody to go on the UK government website and type in uh, in the search box, switch tier 4 to tier 2. You that's are advising possible. people now to, to go. Oh, <laughs> anyway, Kola, thank, you Kola thank you so much for your time. But I, my money is on the lawyers that I paid that have actually advised me correctly. Because solicitors are not in a business of giving people wrong information and giving people wrong advice. Your experience is that of an immigrant that was coming from a country and you went through the process that you went through, but it does not mean that you are qualified to give advice. <laughs>